Hi kids, good afternoon to all of you. So today we will start with political science chapter number 3. How the state government works means how the government actually works and how we are also involved in it. Okay, so that all details we are going to learn in this chapter. Basically last chapter we have learnt about the three levels, correct? The government has to take care of local, state and national level. Local level means the village area wise. State level is in India, you know there are how many states. So each there is one person who will take care of individual states and he will reply to the central government, the main person that is the prime minister. Okay, so three levels are there which the government has divided so that he can manage or he can admin the whole country in a smooth way correct now children first and foremost you might have heard the word mlas 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 what do you mean by mlas mlas are the in full form of mlas members of legislative assembly so first you should know what do you mean by legislative assembly correct then only you will be able to know what are the members of a legislative assembly and what is their work and all that. Now see over here. There are few things like the two girls, they are reading magazines, newspapers and they are just reading out the news. What are the news? Let's see. One girl is saying, it says that there is a water shortage in our state and people are falling sick. What is the message given over there? In the newspaper it was written in some state, one of the states, there is water shortage. Now there is no water, much water in that area and people are falling sick. Another news what they are reading? In many villages, people are found drinking unclean water. Means there are villages where pure water is not yet reaching. The dirty water is what the people are drinking. Streams are dried up and so have tankers even tankers are not reaching over there where there is no water and in the worst affected area villagers are carrying water across great distances means for water people have to go far far distances walking and they bring water from far away places and in one news it was written there is a district name Patalpuram okay over there there in that area what in that district water is received thrice in a like in a week three days four days after that water is there coming okay water supplies in three days after three three days because of that many people are getting sick and they are some people are also i will say there are children who are getting disease like diarrhea diarrhea is what vomiting and lose motion together so there are many patients hospitals are full of patients which disease is going on in that area in that district patalpuram diarrhea is going on then one more news comes came tv news i have heard that people are dying because of diarrhea so they are talking is it such with diarrhea people can die so this way chatting is going on got it then on the way on the road, one child is saying to the another girl, Ke mother has said not to eat outside ice creams and all. Take care of the health. So you also take care. That way one friend is advising the other friend. Meanwhile, you can see the picture over here. One lady police. She is saying to this girl, stop, stop. So the girls are like, why, what happened? So the lady police is saying, there is a, MLA house, residence means the MLA person, one of the minister lives over there and the people have crowded his house. So the girls are, why, what happened? Uh, he has done something. So the lady is saying, people have crowded because he has done nothing and people want him to do something. Clear? So means people are angry. For example, in that district where water is not supplied and people are feeling sick and people are dying. So all these people have gathered over there to make the MLA aware of this. Means the MLA should know okay, what is happening and what are you doing. So people have gathered over there. Okay. And over there the people are saying to, they are demanding from MLA, okay, please take quick action, do something so that people stop dying. Send water, clean water tankers. 
so people don't have to go far away send good doctors in government you know nowadays in government hospitals if you go half the doctors are not available only they are gone on leaves and all so they are demanding you please take care of all these things okay and there are some people who are called opposition party they are saying this mla is doing nothing he is of no use so these all newspapers readings are going on okay now children these is all the scene scenarios what is going on now i tell you how actually the ministers are formed how the mlas are formed okay so let's start with the how mlas are formed take example you this is the map of india over here you can see himachal pradesh now if you see himachal pradesh children i will show you the map yeah this is himachal pradesh it is so big each and every state na we divide into different areas and one person one leader is selected from each area okay for example in himachal pradesh himachal pradesh is divided into 68 areas okay groups and so we will have 68 leaders now each leader will represent one party in india we have major many parties like main parties are bhartiya janata party also known as short form as bjp we have congress which is known as national congress party then we have communist party communist party means the other party which are you can say the strength of uh, people which are less like muslims are there christians are there they are known as communist parties okay and there are other parties like suddenly one leader with a group of people they want to come and participate in the government for the well being of the country so he can form his own party so everyone represents one party and then there is a election in a place this place is called legislative assembly where all chairs and tables everything is there all the 68 mlas will go and they will talk about their areas and all and they will select their leader voting is done over there and from that voting the person who gets the maximum vote is called majority votes he will be the main person over there okay and the one who gets the minority votes they are known as opposition party what are they known as opposition party okay and sometimes it happens both side they are getting the sometimes it can happen two people two parties say for example bjp and congress both are getting similar both are getting 40 uh, like same amount of votes equal votes then that is called they both will be managing or ruling the whole country okay and they are known as collateral party what are they known as collateral party got it this much children opposition means the people who the party which got less votes so all the opposition party together they will form the opposition party and they will see their eyes will be totally on what the major the main party is doing okay and they will point out their weak points got this much okay children we continue other things later tomorrow till then see you bye bye read the chapter okay bye bye